Give me a moment, guys. Hello guys. Vamos Hello, a ver acá. Les acabo, solo déjenme ver lo que está pasando con los otros chicos que me acaba de decir Paola que les enviaron un correo con la actualización, ¿es correcto? Solamente déjenme mandarles un correo mensaje. con qué? Con la actualización, permítanme. Usted ya está aquí, así que no hay problema. Ok, le vamos a dar un par de segunditos a los demás compañeros para que puedan entrar. Eh, siempre es importante que tratemos de actualizar Zoom porque es una aplicación que constantemente eh, pone updates en su, actual, en, su, en su aplicación. Actualiza, actualiza, entonces te está revisando. Voy a dar un par de minutitos más. In the meantime, tell me, Joana, Emerson, Javier, Franco, Janira, Vladimir, Elena, do you have questions about the class that we had yesterday? Questions? No, Miss, I don't have questions. Okay. Do you feel confident to work with uh, conditionals? Zero and first conditional? Do you feel okay? Yeah? Yes, ma'am. Okay, excellent. Glad to hear that. What about the others? Luis and Emerson, what, how do you feel about that? Sorry? Sorry? Okay, okay, good. Okay. <ríe> Permítame que hay un caos que nadie puede entrar a sus clases. No solo ustedes.
Okay, so we're gonna continue here. Right. Me parece los compañeros no pueden entrar automáticamente. No leen, no leen. Okay, so today we're going to practice right now with one easy topic that it's just a reminder of what we have been doing in, in the first week, right? In the first, first and second module, right? This is the use of would like, right? Would like. So would like, it's a phrase, right? That we use when we want something, right? But we do it in a polite way. So let me go ahead and show you right now before we start how many we have. Y no quiero comenzar solo con ocho porque es un tema nuevo. Okay, we're gonna do something. Okay, we're going to start with this, right? On the screen, I am going to share with you on the whiteboard, some questions using be going to. Today is the last day of classes. So we're going to go over the topics and the new topic that we're gonna work with is going to be would like, but it's very simple. Right, so I would like to check on you, right, with this. We're gonna do a lot of speaking today, speaking practice, right? So we have 10 questions right here, right? In these questions, of course, we're using going to, right, which is the future. And I want you to look at them right now, right? And prepare yourself to answer that question. But I want you to answer that question and provide details provide extra information. Because sometimes you say, what hairstyle are you going to have next? Mm, I'm going to have a bob. That's it. That's a good answer. But we want to excel. We want more information. So then you can tell me, okay, I'm going to have a bob, which is a hairstyle like, like this, right? I'm going to have a bob. And I think I'm going to go to the uh, hair salon in San Salvador because it's cheaper, blah, blah, blah. So we share more information, right? So pick up one question, prepare your answer, and make sure that you give details about that, more information, right? So let's start. 
I will give you two minutes to think about the possible answers you can give. Okay, two minutes. Oops, sorry. It's a star. Okay, are you ready? Not ready? Are you ready, Franco? Yes, okay, he's ready. Hey, hey. Okay, what about the others? Are you ready to share your answers? Okay. Good night, teacher. Good evening. Good evening, Eugenia. Okay. For the ones that just came in, right, we have to look for one question. You are going to prepare the answer to that question with practicing the future. Okay? It's speaking. So select one and tell us your answer. Are you ready right now? Javier, Joanna, Adalberto, Emerson, are you ready? Elena, Vladimir? Yes, miss. Yes, yes miss. Yes. Okay, let's start with Franco. Franco, which question did you select? Give me a second. Sorry, teacher. Give me a second, please. Okay. Let's continue with Emerson. Yep. Good evening, Miss. Good evening. Well, I pick up the question number two. Number. Number three. Sorry. Three. Okay. What are you going to do on your next birthday? Well. I plan to have a party at my grandfather's house and talk with everyone. Okay, and what are you going to uh, eat on your birthday? Um, I'm going to eat um, chicken roast. Okay. Roasted chicken, oof, delicious. Roasted chicken, yes. Who are you going to invite? Who are you going to invite to your birthday party? I buy, I will buy, I'm going to buy um, my, my grandmother, grandfather, uh, uncles, my wife, son, and, and my mom. And your mom. Okay, perfect. Thank you, Emerson. Let's continue with Joanna. Anytime. Okay. In number eight, are you going to be rich and famous? Okay. 
Rich and famous. Tell us. Rich and famous. Mm -hmm. I am going to uh, create two ONG for mm -hmm. health children. Oh, oh, ONG. An ONG? For, for health children. Mm -hmm. Okay, so you are going to be famous. Um, uh, I am going to travel around the world. <laughs> <laughs> okay, perfect. Because I, I am going to have uh, a lot of money. Mm -hmm. lot I agree. Money. <laughs> <laughs> okay, perfect, perfect. I'm glad that you think that way, right? That you're going to have a lot of money. And why, why are you going to create an ONG? Uh, uh, to help mm -hmm. uh, our children. To help children, okay. Uh -huh. um, ¿cómo se llama? In, what is the meaning of Immigrants. What is Immigrant. the in, in my immigrants? Uh, immigrants. Okay, very good. Excellent, Joanna. Now, okay. uh, Franco, are you ready? Franco? No, I think he's not. Pablo, what do you have, Pablo? Eh, teacher, casi no escucho porque por acá está lloviendo bastante fuerte y no le he entendido prácticamente nada de lo que, de lo que he dicho. We are practicing, eh, Adalberto, the future. Este es el último día, ya terminamos el libro, ¿verdad? Entonces, este día vamos a practicar un poquito de todo lo que hemos hecho todo el curso. Como un repaso, ¿ok? okay? So, right now, we're practicing be going to. Okay, be going to. But don't worry, Javier. Después vamos con usted. No se preocupe. Yes, Igual está lloviendo, voy a tratar de oír. Ok. Um, number six. Number six. six. Ok. What mobile phone are you going to buy next? Oof. Good, good question. Uh, I'm going to buy the, the next phone in this iPhone. An iPhone. An iPhone. An iPhone. Okay, why? Why an iPhone? <clears throat> because I don't know the, in general how it works the in, inter system okay and, and I, I I'm going to know more about this system operative system okay operative system very good thank you Javier thank you so much uh, let's see here with Vladimir Okay, teacher. Mm -hmm. Number two. Number two. Okay, go ahead. I I going to have a dinner this night. Uh, to rapiditas with chicken because I need to lose weight. You need to lose weight. Me too. <laughs> Me too. Do you like rapiditas? Yes. Really? Yes. Okay, very good. Who makes the rapiditas? You or your wife? My wife. Your wife. Okay, so that's why you like them. Very good. <laughs> and what about tomorrow, Vladimir? What are you going to have for uh, lunch tomorrow? <laughs> Tomorrow, uh, I'm going to have lunch 
Eh, grilled chicken o how do you say? Grill, grill chicken o grilled la... chicken. That's correct. Grilled chicken. Okay. okay. Thank you so much, Vladimir. Thank you. Okay. Do I have someone else? Are you mass? No? Let's see. Eugenia. Hello, hey. teacher. Hello. And Hello. question question 10. Okay. Are you going to lie happy, happy ever after? Mm -hmm. I'm going to lie happy ever after always. <laughs> okay. Very good. Happily ever after is like when we remember, uh, you know, Disney, Disney tales, the fairy tales, felices para siempre, right? Happily ever after. That's the meaning of that. So why, why, why are you going to live happily ever after? And I... Tener... How do you say tener? Have. Have. I have life and a family. Okay. And a job. Okay. And a, a girl in my life. Okay, perfect. Thank you so much. Excellent. So we have there, thank you so much, Carla, right? So this is what we have, right, for the future. Let's see, who else, who else? Elena, yes, Imelda? Number three. Number three, okay. What, what are you going to do on your next birthday? A party? a dinner with my friend and family. We are going to eat the chicken and cake and have good, and have good, good time. Excellent, very good. Thank you so much, Sumara. Very good. That's, that was a really good answer. Thank you. And let's see, Franco, are you back? <laughs> yeah, yes, I back. Okay, yes. give us your your question and answer. Okay, uh, uh, I repeat the number two. Where are you going to have no number three? Where are you going to do on your next birthday? Mm -hmm. I going to travel uh a USA to the uh, USA. See in the next the next birthday. That's perfect. Where are you going to go? I don't sure, uh, maybe to Miami or New York. Miami or New York, okay, mm -hmm. very good. If if you go to New York, what are you going to eat in New York? Uh, uh, in New York, in New York, I eat in, in, in Brother House or maybe a restaurant that uh, may, uh, mm, Colombia night. Colombia. Ooh, party. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it doesn't like. It sounds like party. Very good, Franco. Yeah. And if you are going to go to Miami, what are you going to do? What activity are you uh, going to do first in Miami? Yeah, I was. I was. I was in Miami. A. Uh, a. Uh, Two years in 2020. Oh, okay. uh, I'm going to be. I'm going to the to the beach. I'm going to the beach. Okay, perfect, perfect. Thank you so much, Franco, for your answers. Very good answers, by the way. <laughs> Excellent, everyone with the answers. Very good answers today. So thank you so much. Now I am going to stop sharing. Right, we we'll stop sharing there. Today, 
Uh, we're going to start with the attendance. I have Carlos Vladimir Rodriguez Diaz. Carlos Vladimir? No. Okay. Daisy Elizabeth Resinos Alvarez? Present, teacher. Eduardo Present. Franco Reyes? Present. Elena Guadalupe Andrade Reyes? Present. Elmerson Ulises Monroy Calix? Present, Miss. Francisco Sánchez López. Present. Emelda Xiomara Pineda Castro. I am here, teacher. Okay. Jacqueline Vanessa Parrilla. Joana Lisbeth Eunice Alfaro de Canales. Present, Miss. José Alexander Hernández Carvajal. José Bernardo López Montes. Present, teacher. Carla Eugenia Hernández Sotelo. Present teacher. Carol Elizabeth Escalante Enríquez. Present. Luis Javier Castillo. Teacher present, Vladimir. Present. Ok. Eh, Luis Javier Castillo. Present teacher. Manuel Alfredo Hernández Ventura. Manuel, no. Ok. Oscar Noé Magaña. Present teacher. Sara Vigail López Portillo. Present teacher. Tatiana Ivonne Torres de Beltrán. Wendy Marlene Martínez Sánchez. Present. Yanira del Carmen Gutiérrez. Present. Pablo Adalberto Abrego Vázquez. Present. Ok, great. So, today we are going to do a process that you have been doing since the first module here. So, this is your fourth time uh, for you for well, the majority of you to complete this activity. Now we're going to start with the survey. Okay, that's what we're going to do. So I'm going to switch to Spanish so we can go ahead and start working with this process. Okay, vamos a cambiar español para comenzar con el proceso de la encuesta. Solamente vamos a empezar, vamos a, a trabajar juntos, darles indicaciones desde ya. Vamos a hacer la encuesta eh, juntos, no vamos a hacerla de forma individual, porque vamos a ir trabajando eh, paso a paso, porque así nos lo piden Safor. Así que yo sé que a veces eh, queremos hacer todo rápido, pero vamos a, a ir eh, poco a poco. Okay? No se preocupen. También, para enviar su comprobante de que ya terminaron la encuesta, porque ya vamos a empezar en dos minutos, para enviar su comprobante lo van a hacer de la siguiente manera. Por favor, eh, vean, ahorita les voy a mandar solamente eh, una imagen. ¿verdad? Que diga el comprobante. Y... lo van a enviar de esta forma, ¿ok? Ahí dice comprobante, porque digamos que ese es mi comprobante. Ahí dice mi nombre completo. Ahora, la imagen debe ir pegada con su nombre completo. ¿Por qué? Porque a veces pueden verlo uno primero, el otro después, y todo se queda eh, por... ¿Cómo se dice? Despegado, no sé cómo se dice eso. Aparte, entonces tienen que hacerlo así con su nombre completo. También se deben esperar, porque hay unos que vamos rápido, otros que no. Entonces, vamos a irnos esperando. Entonces, vamos a, com si gustan, comenzamos ya. Para la encuesta. Y para eso, vamos a presentar un videito. Vamos a Please pay attention. ¿Pueden escuchar? Como inglés corporativo, vamos a... Yes, please. Ok, comencemos. Como inglés corporativo, vamos a apoyarte para poder desarrollar la encuesta de satisfacción de manera correcta. 
vas a recibir a tu correo electrónico personal la información con los datos correspondientes del curso. Vamos a ingresar y vamos a seleccionar el enlace para poder desarrollar la encuesta de satisfacción. Vamos a regresar al correo que hemos recibido y vamos a colocar el número de la orden de inicio siempre proporcionada por nosotros. La vamos a copiar tal cual está en el correo electrónico y la vamos a colocar en el punto número uno. En el siguiente punto vamos a colocar el nombre completo, que es de cada uno de ustedes. Lo vamos a copiar de igual manera en la información que hemos compartido y lo vamos a colocar en el nombre completo. Siguiente a ello, vamos a colocar el correo electrónico personal que ustedes han proporcionado a Inglés Corporativo. De igual manera, vamos a colocar así el número de contacto que ustedes han proporcionado. Lo vamos a copiar. Y así lo vamos a colocar en el número de celular. Posteriormente colocamos el sexo. En el punto número 6 vamos a desplazar la flechita y vamos a buscar el departamento de residencia donde ustedes actualmente viven. De igual manera vamos a colocar el municipio en el cual ustedes están residiendo. En el punto número 8 vamos a colocar el nombre de la empresa. Cuidado en ese punto, ya que vamos a colocar el nombre de la empresa tal cual razón social y nosotros lo tenemos registrado. De igual manera, les hemos compartido el nombre correcto para que ustedes puedan colocarlo. En el nombre del proveedor vamos a colocar de acuerdo a nuestro centro de formación, que es Inglés Corporativo Regal International. Vamos a desplazar la fecha y vamos a buscar el nombre de nuestro centro de formación. Lo seleccionamos y en el siguiente punto vamos a colocar el nombre del curso. De igual manera, vamos a colocarlo tal cual está en la información que nosotros hemos proporcionado, tanto por correo electrónico y por WhatsApp. Vamos a copiar el número del curso y vamos a colocar. En el punto número 11, las evaluaciones que ustedes serán las harán de manera individual y personal según lo que ustedes han vivido en el transcurso del curso. Las fechas de inicio, de igual manera, las vamos a poder verificar en la información que se ha compartido. En ese caso, nos vamos a ir al calendario y debemos tener el cuidado ya que en el calendario podemos retroceder o adelantar las fechas. De igual manera, según las fechas proporcionadas, vamos a tener que buscar el mes y la fecha indicada del inicio del módulo. En la fecha de finalización, de igual manera proporcionada por nosotros, vamos a desplazar el calendario y así vamos a seleccionar el día en el cual está finalizando el curso. En el punto número 14, vamos a colocar una valoración personal que ustedes han recibido de parte del desarrollo del curso. Posteriormente, ustedes pueden seleccionar algunos cursos de otro interés o algún comentario que ustedes tengan respecto al trabajo desarrollado. Vamos a darle clic en el botón azul de enviar. Y posteriormente vamos a recibir un mensaje de la respuesta a su enviado. Cuando ustedes han recibido este mensaje, favor de tomar una captura de pantalla, compartirla al grupo de WhatsApp correspondiente junto con su nombre completo, según nosotros los tenemos registrados. Y es así 
como tú debes desarrollar la encuesta de satisfacción. Ok, so, permítanme. Esa es, como, esa es la forma en la que ustedes deben llenar la encuesta de satisfacción. Ese es un proceso que la mayoría ya ha hecho, hay más de una vez. Entonces, los que no tengan el correo a la mano, yo les puedo enviar la información a través de Zoom para que vayan copiando y pegando. Entonces, esa es información que tiene que ir correcta. Por favor, si usted no sabe el, el, el nombre oficial de su, de su empresa, por ejemplo, nosotros somos inglés corporativo, pero el nombre social es eh, Regal International. Entonces, si usted no lo conoce, no tenga pena, pregunte y yo se lo, se lo digo, ¿verdad? Y si no tiene ninguna otra pregunta o tiene toda la información a la mano, comencemos, por favor, a llenar la encuesta. Es momento. ¿Tienen todos el link de la encuesta? ¿O gustan que se los envíe? Podría enviarlo mismo. Please. Ok, vamos a enviarlo entonces. No hay ningún problema. Déjenme acá un segundito. Ok, ya lo tenemos aquí. Enlace para tomar la encuesta. Y vamos a poner los datos del curso. Para aquellos que no tengan la información, por favor denle clic al link de la encuesta y me dicen si alguien tuvo algún problema para acceder y si no, continuamos. Esa es la orden de inicio. Recuerden lo que decía en el video. Copie y pegue. No la vaya escribiendo porque puede que se equivoque y necesitamos que vaya tal cual. Ya lo envió. Sí, vea el Zoom, por favor. Estoy enviando todo al chat de Zoom para que quede grabado. ¿Pudo acceder al chat? Sí, ya, ya. Ok. Gracias. Estoy pegando los detalles uno por uno porque a veces estamos en el teléfono y nos puede costar un poquito más. Ok, esos son los datos principales. Las demás valoraciones son personales.
Thank you so much, Imelda Xiomara. Thank you, Elena. Excellent, Javier. Excellent, Oscar. Okay, thank you so much. We got Joanna, Sara, Eduardo, Janira, Carol, Wendy, Eugenia, Daisy. ¿Quién nos hace falta? Aquí voy a Bernardo. Tatiana nos hace falta, ¿verdad? Hoy estuvo. Tatiana, de Alberto. Ya terminé, ya lo mandé. Ya lo mandó. ¿A dónde lo mandó? Ahí eso solo dice Tatiana. Debe escribir todo su nombre, Tatiana. Por favor, elimine esa imagen y envíelo con su nombre completo para que después en Safor lo pueda auditar con los chicos a que, que nos ayudan. Así como están haciendo sus compañeros, nombre completo, por favor. Ok, veamos. Gracias, Tatiana. Creo que eso sería el último. Y comenzamos. Gracias, muy amable. Pablo ya envía el suyo. No lo miro. Estoy choca, niños. Ahorita lo envío. Ok. Gracias, Pablo. Yanira, ¿no está Yanira? 
Sí, teacher, ya lo mandé. Ya lo envió. Sí. General Carmen Gutiérrez, ok. Muchas gracias. Gracias, Francisco Sánchez. Ok. So we got there our eh, encuesta de satisfacción. Everything is completed. Right. And now we are going to continue with another topic. Ok. Now we just practice be going to. We practice the future. Right. With the future, if we are practicing different activities that you can do, of course, in the future. Right. Now, what we're going to do is to practice the use of would like. Would like. Now, would like is to say, I want. For example, I want coffee, right? Oh, I would like coffee, right? So, would like is just a very polite form of saying that you want something right so let me go ahead and show you here right some of the structures that we are going to use for would like just give me one more Okay, I'm gonna show you here. One moment. Can you see the white screen right now? Yes, yes. So this is the topic, right? Would like. Now for would like, right? We're going to have two options. Would like plus a noun and would like plus a verb, right? So we're gonna put it here right as two options would like plus a noun right this is my first structure would like plus a noun and i'm going to have here would like plus right two plus a verb Look at this, right? Okay, these are the two options that we're going to have. Now, for this, we're going to, of course, have a specific structure, right? And they have kind of like, like the same meaning, right? For example, I would like a cup of coffee. I would like a cup of coffee. I would like to drink a cup of coffee, right? So the difference here, right, is that we're going to have in one of them exactly the verb and in the other one, a noun. So let me put here this example, right? For would like plus a noun, right? Sylvia would like a cup of coffee, right? Sylvia would like a cup of coffee. Now the other one, right? Sylvia would like to drink a cup 
of coffee. Now, in the first one, in the first one, we are emphasizing, right, what I want. In here, we're emphasizing the activity, right? Because we are including a verb. Do you see the difference between these two structures right now? Look at the examples. I mean, I can say I would like, um, I would like a chocolate, a piece of chocolate. I would like a piece of chocolate. That would be a more polite way to say, I want a piece of chocolate. So want is okay, right? That's okay. But when we're saying would like, we sound more formal, right? That's when we say it like that. Now we're going to use this as expressions to say desire, things that we like, right? Things that we want. Now, can you think about one example? Can you try to make an example? What would you like? Right now in my life is I would like to have a new cell phone because this one is, mm -mm, it's broken. Right. The operative system is, so I would like to have another cell phone. So what do you think? Can you give me an example with would like? No? Hello? ¿Me escucha? Yes, teacher. Okay. So what can I we would, mm -hmm. I would like a glass of juice. A glass of juice. Okay. Glass of juice. A glass of juice. That sounds perfect. Thank you. I would like a glass of juice. Okay, perfect. What about what about the others? Tatiana make a great example. Joanna. Yeah, teacher, I, uh, mm -hmm. oh, okay. I would like a piece of cake. Okay. I would like a piece of cake. Excellent. I would like a piece of cake. Mm -hmm. Um también se podría, uh, I would like to go see a movie. I would like to go and see a movie. Excellent. To go and see a movie. Perfect, Adalberto. That's great. So pretty much what we're doing here, right? And remember, this is the structure, right? We know that. That's our structure. We're going to put it here, right? We have here and here, right? Now, but we also need to remember like the function, right? Why do we use would like, right? And what do we use it for? Emerson, can you please read this information? Yes, please. Why do you, why do you use would like function to make a request to ask a thing to to ask up politely. To ask politely. These are the three uses that we give here, right? To would like, would like or would like to, right? To make requests. I would like a cup of coffee. To ask for things, what would you like to do? Or to ask politely, what would you do tomorrow? Right? These are the purposes. Very simple. Right, very, very simple to use that when we speak or we want to make one of these functions, right? Do you understand that part? Yes. Okay, yes. perfect. So pretty much when we're saying this, 
right? And pay attention to this. Would like is more polite than I want. Give me, right? Give money. No, I would like some money, please. Right? So we can think of this, right? Would like is more polite than I want. Give me, can I have? These are correct, okay? These are correct. Don't get me wrong. These are correct. But would like is more polite, more formal, right? If you want to talk to your boss, if you want to talk with someone in a higher position, you'd rather use would like. Now, questions teacher. right now? Teacher. Yes? When, when, when you go to a restaurant, you say, uh, I would like uh, cheese hamburg, for example. Yes. It's, it's, it's correct. That is correct. I would like a, ha a cheese hamburger. Yes. I would like a cheese hamburger. You can say, I would like French fries. Okay. Uh, I would like to eat cheese uh, hamburger. hamburger. Very good. That's more specific, right? Because when you say, I would like to eat, that's me, right? I would like to eat a uh, hot dog, right? That's me. But what if I say, I would like a hamburger, you don't know if you are go if, if that person is going to eat it. Someone else can eat it. Maybe Franco goes to the restaurant and says, "Hey, I would like a cheese hamburger," and maybe it's for his wife or his daughter or his mother. We don't know, right? But when he says, "I would like to eat," he is going to eat the hamburger. Do you see the difference? Yes. Okay. Very well, very well then. Now, when we make questions with would like, right? Pretty much what we do to make the questions is that we use would like at the beginning, of course, right? To make a question here, right? And look at this. We have would plus the subject, plus like, plus the infinitive verb or the noun, and the complement, right? And of course, the question mark. That is what we're going to have, right, when we ma make our examples. Would you like right, to watch a movie tonight? This is with infinity. And would you like to watch a movie tonight? Would you like a hamburger? Right. Would you like a, would you like a lemonade, et cetera, et cetera. Usually would like is very common in restaurants or in places where you're going to receive some service, right? That's when it's very useful to use this type of a structure. Now, do you understand right now these examples? Yes, Bernardo? Okay. Now, I want you in, in the chat, please, in the chat. I want you to write your examples. Write a question and write a sentence. Positive, a positive sentence and write also a question. Let's see what happens. Veamos qué dice Bernardo. Ok, Bernardo. Ok, Vladimir. 
<laughs> in in HBO, right, Joanna? <laughs> yes, me. <laughs> I saw it. <laughs> I said like, ah, okay. <laughs> I would like to buy a new book next week. Excellent, Emerson. What kind of book would you like to buy? I would like to buy, to buy. I would like to learn English. You are learning English, Noe. You are learning English. I would like to go to a Maluma concert. I would like to go to a Maluma concert. Very good. Would you like to have a, a party tonight? Yes. Let's have a party for the end of the model. <laughs> for the last model, right? Now here, Right. I want you to please pay attention because this is to make questions, right? This is to make questions and this is totally perfect. You're making great samples right now, right? To make questions and to make for affirmative sentences. I would like to drink a cup of milk. Good. I don't like milk. <laughs> Now let's make a negative, right? For negatives, the only thing that we're going to do, guys, is to write here with not or what comes to wouldn't, right? With not or wouldn't, that would be the negative form, right? But here also, right? For the answers, when we have, would you like to watch a movie tonight? Yes, I would. Yes, I would. Yes, she would. Yes, they would. Right? It's always, uy, ya me mandaron la tormenta para acá. It's always, is, Dios mío, Sara, ¿qué le pasó? Okay. No estaba lloviendo. Yo creo que no metí la ropa. Okay. It's always, would. Here with the short answers, right? This is the correct form. Yes, I would. If you put here in the negative answers, for example, yes, I, because in the past we have practiced the contractions, right? In the short answers. But if you do that here, it's incorrect. Mm -mm. So it's always I would, she would, they would, when we're talking about short answers. Is that part clear? Because this is very, very important. So I would like to know if it's clear. Is this part clear? Short answers? No? Hola. Are you there? Franco me oye y solo se está riendo, fíjese, porque no me quiere contestar. Sí, ¿Lo ve? Sí. <laughs> <laughs> ya ve que sí. Okay, so we have there, right? With these short answers, you never contract the short answers. You leave them like that. Yes, I would. 
right? That's what you're going to do, right? Now, with the negative form, it's another story, right? Because here I can say, for example, Sylvia would like a cup of coffee. Uh -uh. Sylvia wouldn't like a, a cup of milk. Mm -mm. She would like, she'd like a cup of coffee. Right? You see that? We're giving more context, right? We're giving more information. Let's see the examples that you're putting there. Would she, oh, good. Eduardo, you, you will say, would she like? No likes. Would you like to go to the park? Yes, she would. Very good. Would you like to dance at the Christmas party? Of course. Of course. I would like to buy a black car. Black car. Cuando ustedes están hablando de colores, esto es para todos. No tenemos que decir, my cell phone is... Uh, no, the color of my cell phone is blue. No, this is a blue cell phone. Blue cell phone. Y solo mencionan el color y como ya es un color, ya se saben que los colores los utilizamos, entonces no tenemos que decir que es un color. Ok. Ok, now, do you understand this information, guys? With would like and would like to? Yes. yes? Okay. Eh, teacher, uh, yes. una pregunta. Eh, estos, esto, esta contracción que hizo acá en Shield, like a cup of coffee, eh, es como una respuesta o a, a lo que dice que oh. de Silvia, Silvia Durlai a cup of milk. Is is to give more. Oh, sorry, she would she would not like. Here is negative. Thank you, Alberto. She would not like a cup of milk. She would like a cup of coffee. Right. This is negative. Right. So we're trying to make here negative. Thank you so much, Alberto. Would not like. Right. So we're talking about the negative. Or we can say wouldn't. So it's just. The second part is just to give more context, right? For example, uh, we can say, Pablo wouldn't like to go to Paris. He would like to go to uh, Germany, right? So we we'll give more information, always with the intention of providing more details, more info, right? Now, let me show you an exercise that we can do uh, right now, and thank you for your question, Adalberto. Right. Let me show you here. Now, we have these boxes, right? And we're going to complete here. You're going to look at this, these uh, examples, and you are going to decide. Okay, should you put here would like or would like to? Which is the best option, right? That's what you're going to decide. For example, here it says, I'm thirsty. I would like a glass of water, please. What is the noun? A glass of water. I cannot say I would like to a glass of water. Mm -mm. I would like a glass of water. What do you think is going to be the next one? Would you like a break? Would you like a break? Yes, we? We, we would. Yes, we would. Like yes, we would. Because we would. Your answer. Yeah, very good. So. I want you to go ahead and check all of these sentences. I'm going to send them right now. It's only 12 sentences. You're going to have, it, have them on your... Your example here, right? 
I just send them to you. Right, to your WhatsApp, so we can start practicing. Right, and we're going to decide right now. That exercise is a little bit simple. Right, we just need to decide would like or would like to. Remember, would like plus what? A noun or a verb? Um. Uh huh. Would you like plus a noun or a verb? Plus a noun. Plus a noun. And would you like to? To is a verb. It's Very. a verb. Very good. It's a verb. Excellent job. Thank you so much. So we're going to do that activity. Did you receive? Did you receive the uh the exercise on your WhatsApp? Did you receive the exercise on your WhatsApp? Hello? Jamie. Thank you. Okay, we're gonna start here. We have Jose, Noé, and Janina, Imelda, Javier, Wendy, Elena, Carla, Tatiana, Eduardo, Emerson, Pablo, Daisy, y Bernardo, Francisco, y Joana. Solo Bernardo creo que está de oyente, entonces lo vamos a pasar con alguien más. Daisy, ¿usted va a participar? ¿No le he escuchado hablar mucho? ¿Daisy? ¿Francisco? Bueno. Ok, nos vamos de cuatro entonces. Let's go. Let's go right now. We're going to have 10 minutes. Let's answer this quickly. Ya son las nueve y tres. Apurémonos. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go practice. Let's practice. Daisy, José, Wendy, Francisco, Emerson. Unas de sus equipos. Daisy, una a su equipo, por favor. José Bernardo, si me escucha, una a su equipo para que esté oyente. Hola. Hola. Okay, are we practicing? Jose, Yanira, Noé, Daisy? I don't hear you. Yes, teacher. Okay. Vamos, chicos. No perdamos el tiempo, por favor. Thank you so much, Jose. Vale, número dos, tío. Pregunta, ¿verdad? Mm -hmm. Would you like a break?
Would you like a bread? Yes, we like. I don't understand this. I would like. Solo el would like estamos ocupando yo. Yo no estuve en el principio de la clase. Sí, solo el would like sería. Would like and would like to. Pero el would like to es cuando tenemos un verbo, entendí yo. Exactly. So okay. would like and would like to. Los dos estamos usando. Okay. Y sería Patrick would like to. Ay, es, ay, es correcto, ese día would like to. Se me quedó la W ahí. Se me quedó la Se le movió. Sí. Would like to. Ajá. Ahí se va. Aquí es like o es likes. Likes. Bien presente, sí es. ¿Verdad? Can I help you? Yes. Like. Like to. Like. Mm -hmm. You like to work. You like to work. You like to work. Uh, so, no. uh, I like. Like y aquí se puede hacer así Sí, porque es una doble y expression, igual que la, la once. O like some candles. O we like. ¿Qué sería? Sí, yo la veo bien. Si gusta practicar, pero por la bueno, aquí no, no ha pasado nada. Y el chiquito. Así. Así ahí, también, gracias. Bueno. Eh, agarramos en orden. Daisy, Noé, Yankira y después yo. Gracias, José. Hay. Hay. I would like a glass of water, please. 
cuando How would you answer the, the, the short answers? Because I see, they say, yes, he likes. But we're using would, not the simple present. The same with number two. He says, would you like a break? Yes, we like. We're not using the present. We're using would. And we always answer with the same, like, how can I say the same auxiliary? So how would you answer this? Aha. Uh -huh. Sería entonces would like. Exactly. Would. Only would. Not would like. Only would. Mm -hmm. Okay. Thanks. Exactly. Thank you. Pues todas están malas. Yes, they are. <laughs> <laughs> Only the short answers. Check them out, please. Okay. It will. It will. Y ya está lleva ese. Y ustedes diciendo que habían terminado. <laughs> <laughs> Para nosotras estaba bien, teacher. <laughs> of course, of course. A and I is. bien va yes we will Yes, he won't. No, I will not. No, I won't. Ahora sí ya terminamos. Okay. Ahí sí practicamos. Sí. No he ido, ¿verdad? ¿A yes. quién más? Would like a break? Yes, we will. Ya mira. Yes, I don't understand this. I would like some help with my homework. Patrick would like to go to the supermarket. He needs milk. Well, well. Tom like to come with with us. Yes, he will. Will. I help you? Yes, I would like a ticket to Hilbu. My friends would like to come depart the party next week. Would you like to work on Saturday? No, I will not. Would you like chocolate ice cream or vanilla ice cream? Uh, you like to. Hi, Tatiana. Hi, me. Uh, what? <laughs> Sorry. What? Uh, what? What we do with with uh, examples with the examples? Uh huh. What do you mean? 
Eh, este, the exercise and I return and in class. Oh, what's up? In Nashville. No, you're not going to answer. These are the answers we're going to share right now. Okay, you finish, right? Yes. Yes. Me. yes. Okay. Very good. I just would like to say, I would like some help, would like to go, would like, would Tom like to come with us to work? I would like a ticket, like to come, would you like to work? Yeah. Chocolate ice cream, would you like to see more? You know, what would you like to do? Very good. Excellent. Thank, Thank you, Miss. Thank you, teacher. Good. Now let's go ahead and, and let's go and let's practice pronunciation with the others, okay? Let's okay, go. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, so we are going to check right now the answers, right, that you guys have there. So let's start here. Okay. Teacher, I'm back. Sorry for <laughs> when... It's okay. It's okay. Okay, let me go ahead and see here. Dun, da, da, dun, 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 dun. Da, dun, dun, dun. Okay, can you see my computer right now? I was checking and most of you, you did it very, very good. So congratulations for that. Okay. Let's see the answers. Number, well, we have number two. Daisy, can you repeat the answer with number two? Daisy Resinos? I want you like a break. I want you like a break. I would you like a break is this correct guys resinos resinos one question can i start a question with i is it possible is it possible miss resinos to start a question with I. Is that correct? Uh huh. How do you start the questions?
Daisy, how do you start a question? Um, I would like, I want to like a break. Okay, yes, I understand that. My question to you is that if you can start a question with, I would. Mm, I understand it. Okay, what is the structure of a question, Daisy? <laughs> What is the structure of a question? What is the formula? What do you have to put first? Mm -hmm. Daisy? No ve el teléfono, pon atención. Mire sus notas. How do you make a question? Um, Uh huh, Daisy. Danita, how do you make a question with wood? Is uh, correct? Uh, are you born? No, it's not correct. Okay, it's not correct. How do you make a question, Javier? In a good mm -hmm. subject, would a good a subject. subject like mm -hmm. and noun or verb. Exactly. Verb. Very good. Very good, Javier. Excellent job. Right. So we cannot start a question like this. This is incorrect. Right, we are going to start a question, right? Using would, would you like? Right, so we're going to delete this I. Would you like a break? Yes, we would. Okay, uh, continue, Joanna, with number two. Um, number three. Number three, yes. I don't understand this. I would like some help with my homework. Me too. Okay, thank you. I would like. Excellent. Continue with, with number four, Tatiana. Patrick could like to go to the supermarket. He needs milk. He needs milk. Okay, good. Continue there, Alexander. Would Tom like come with us? Yes, he would. Okay, yes, he would. Excellent. If it's negative, no, he wouldn't. Okay, Franco, number six. Number six. Mm -hmm. Can I help you? Yes, I would like a ticket to Melbourne. Okay, I would like a ticket to Melbourne. Emerson, seven. Excuse me. My friends 
would like to come to the party next week. Would like to come, excellent. Continue with number eight. Eh, dun, dun, dun. Eugenia. Eight. Mm -hmm. Wool. Would you like to work on Saturday? No, I will not. No, I would not. Okay. Remember, in this case, you can say would not or wouldn't. Because wouldn't can be contracted. Very good, Eugenia. Adalberto, number nine. Would you like chocolate, ice cream, or vanilla by, 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 by ice cream? Okay. Would you like? Excellent. Now repeat vanilla. 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 Tortilla. Vanilla. Espinilla. Ya no sé. Okay, thank you, Alberto. Imelda, number 10. Microphone. Hey, would you like? Uh, see? A movie? Okay. See. Is this a verb or a noun? Would you like see? Would you like to see? Okay. The word see, it's a verb or a noun? Verb. Okay. What do we do with the verb? Do we use would like or would like to? Would you like to? Okay, excellent. Would you like to see a movie? No? No. Cool. Will, no, I will not. No, I will not. Okay. Continue there, Janira, number 11. What do you like tomorrow? What would you like to do tomorrow? To do tomorrow. Excellent. And Noe, number 12. Like. Who like. would like, uh huh, some candy? Mm -hmm. We would, we would, like. we would, we would, exactly. Very good, excellent. If you see in the short answers, we don't say like, we only say would or would not, would or wouldn't, but we don't say like. Okay, so very good. Excellent answers, thank you so much. All right, now let's practice a little bit of pronunciation. Do you have questions about this exercise? Miss, mm -hmm. uh, we will, uh, we will like. We would? You do not use like, only would. Okay, okay. Mm -hmm. Only with. Thank you, Tatiana, for your question. Someone else? No questions. Are you sure? Okay, let's continue. We're gonna work here, right? With the next part. Now, 
In this case, right, we are going to practice pronunciation, right? Now with the pronunciation practice, here we have simple sentences, right? But here the sentences we have added, I would like to make it more sophisticated, right? But we're going to say I, hid, sheed, with, would, would, did, anad, Garrett, would you, would you, would you, right? And with like. Now, this pronunciation would sometimes because we speak Spanish is difficult, right? So we say good or something like that. So I want you to try saying Hollywood, Hollywood, would, Hollywood. I would like a hamburger, Hollywood. Joanna, repeat, would like. Good like. Okay. Joanna, Hollywood. Hollywood. Would. Would. Would like. Would like. Okay, there you are. Perfect. Thank you so much. Right? Ven como en un segundo cambiamos la pronunciación. Right? So I need you to practice that too. Now, I want you to practice with simple sentences. Let's go with the first one. Bernardo, can you practice this sentence for me, please? Okay, teacher. I'd like orange juice. I like orange juice. Perfect. I'd like orange juice. Continue, Imelda. The same sentence, Imelda. He'd like ice cream. No, the same sentence, Imelda. He'd like orange juice. I'd like. I'd like. I'd I'd like orange juice. Orange juice, okay. Very good. Javier, we're gonna practice with this. Would you like yellow? Would you like yellow? Excellent, thank you, Javier. It was, um, Eugenia, would like the bill? We'd like the bill. Excellent. Franco, they like to go to, they like to go to Outback. They like to go to Outback. Excellent. Out. Out. Outback. Outback. Very good. And let's see this one here. Uh, Janira, would you like a doggy bag? Would you like a dirty bath? Would you? Would you? Would you like? Yes, exactly. Would you like a doggy bag? Tatiana, the same sentence. Thank you, Janina. Would you like a doggy bag? Would you like a doggy bag? Doggy. Doggy. Would. Would. Would you? Would you? There you are, Tatiana. Wonderful. Thank you so much. Now, that's the first practice with pronunciation, right? Let's continue. Now, I want you to practice here, right? We're going to say this politely, and this is going to be only a practice with speaking, okay? I want sentences here, and we're going to make them more polite, right? We change the phrases with would like. For example, if it says, give me, I want, I need, bring me, do you want, we're going to change it for would like. For example, if I say, I want to go out for dinner. I want to go out for dinner. What is a polite way of saying that? I would like to go out for dinner. Right? I would like to go out for dinner. So what we're going to do is to 
replace, right? We're replacing this information, want, right? Because we don't want to say that. Queremos aprender a ser más formales para nuestro trabajo. I want, right? So we're going to change it and we are going to use, right? Would like, right? What if we say he wants to eat at McDonald's? He won't. You, he won't. He won't. He won't. Won't. He won't. Would. He would like to eat at McDonald's. Excellent. He would like to eat at McDonald's. Very good. Tatiana, repeat with me. Hollywood. 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 Would like. Would like. Listen. Hollywood. Would like. Listen. Hollywood. 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 Would like. Good like. Would. Good. Good. No. <laughs> Me cuesta. Es claro, es una palabra que no la pronunciamos. No la vamos a pronunciar desde acá, ¿ok? G, okay. no. Es wu. 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 Porque si la pronunciamos woo. desde acá, de la garganta, decimos g. Right? No queremos este, ese sonido. Queremos el sonido wu. Would like. Would like. Hey, there you are. Thank you, Tatiana. Now. It says, they want to eat fast food. Javier, they want to eat fast food. They would you like, sorry. They? They would like to eat fast food. Fast food, very good. Bernardo, do you want some more ketchup? Would you like some more ketchup? Okay, thank you. Give me the bill, Joanna. Um, would we'll like the bill? I would like the bill. I would like the bill. I, because it's an imperative. Very good, okay. Joanna. Okay. Excellent. Pablo, bring me some water. Hi. I would like some water. Excellent. Excellent job. Right. Uh, let's see. Franco, we will take this food home with us. We will take this food home this what this house. Okay, perfect. Now change this for this. For I uh, would like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> We will we would like take this food home with you. With us. With us. Uh -huh. We would like to take. Repeat, we would like to take. We would like to take. Excellent. Eugenia, I need another menu. I would like need another menu. Okay, once again. I need another menu. I would like another menu. There you are. Thank you. Imelda, give me an English menu. Give me an English menu. Okay, change it with would like. Who said would like? Would like. Would like. ¿Dónde pondría would like usted? Eh, would like an English menu. I would like an English menu. I would like. Anote, I would menu. like an English menu. Eh, Janira, do you want more water? Do you want more water? I would like. One to one more water. Mm -mm. You're changing this. Make a question. 
I I would like more water. Okay, now make it a question. Make a question. Hágalo pregunta porque me está diciendo una oración positiva. Ah, okay. Este. Um, Do like? No. Would you like? Would you like? I more water. Would you like more water? I, uh, would you like more water? That's it, right? En vez de decir, do you want? You want say, would you like? Right? Would you like? Uh, Noé, we want this table cleaned. Like this table. Mm -hmm. Just would like. Yes. Uh, yes, we. No, eh? Yes, teacher. Just would like, please. We want this table clean. We would like this table clean. Excellent. Okay. Emerson, the last one. Do you want to go to the bathroom? Do you want to go to the bathroom? Mm -hmm. Would you like to go to the bathroom? Would you like to go to the bathroom? Very good, Daisy. I want some napkins. I would like some napkins. Napkins, excellent yeah. job. Thank you everyone, thank you so much. Now we have finished this exercise, right? Now, we only have six minutes. No pasamos asistencia, Dios mío. Vamos a pasar asistencia, right? We have other exercises, but we're not gonna put those exercises here anymore, right? Just let me call the attendance. Vamos a pasar asistencia acá. Mientras paso asistencia, por favor, necesito que piensen en alguna pregunta que tengan, por favor, sobre el curso, sobre sus tareas, sobre algo. Ya vamos a ver quién hace falta. Para mientras pasamos asistencia, Carlos Vladimir Rodríguez Díaz. Daisy Elizabeth Recinos Álvarez. Presente, Chen. Eduardo Franco Núñez. Presente. Elena Guadalupe Andrade Reyes. Presente. Emerson Ulises Monroy Calix. Presente, Miss. Francisco Sánchez López. Presente. Emelda Xiomara Pineda Castro. Presente, Chen. Joana Lisbeth Eunice Alfaro de Canales. Present, Miss. Jose Alexander Hernández Carvajal. Present. Jose Bernardo López Montes. Present, teacher. Carla Eugenia Hernández Sotelo. Present, teacher. Carol Elizabeth Escalante Enríquez. Luis Javier Castillo. Present. Manuel Alfredo Hernández Ventura. Oscar Noé Magaña Martínez. Present. Sara Abigail López Portillo. Tatiana Ivonne Torres de Beltrán. I am here, Miss. Wendy Marlene Martínez Sánchez. Present. Yanira del Carmen Gutiérrez. Present. Pablo Adalberto Abrego Vázquez. Present. Ok. Como ustedes bien saben, hoy es el último día del curso. Entonces, eh, de este módulo, no del curso, perdón, de este módulo. Así que vamos a ver quién ya está al día con todas sus actividades. ¿Verdad? La semana anterior ya casi todos habían avanzado hasta el módulo 4. ¿verdad? Vamos a ver acá, un segundo. ¿Escuchan la lluvia? No, lejos, sí. No. ¿O sí la no. escuchan? No. no. La suya no se escucha, la mía sí. Bendito sea Dios. Yo escucho la mía, pero si no la escuchan ustedes, soy feliz. Ahí soy feliz. Ok, veamos. Carlos Vladimir ya entregó todo. Daisy igual. Eduardo también. Elena estamos bien. Emerson igual. Eh, Francisco Sánchez 
si está por acá, veamos Francisco, me hace falta actividades suyas. Xiomara ya terminó, Joana igual, bueno, Joana había terminado desde hace mucho antes. O sea, Alexander ya terminó, López Montes igual, Eugenia también, Carol Elizabeth nos hace falta dos actividades, Luis Javier ya terminamos, Manuel nos faltan dos actividades, Magaña ya terminó, Pablo ya terminó también, Sara ya terminó, Silvia Maricela no ha hecho nada, <ríe> Wendy ya terminó, Tatiana igual y Yanira también, ¿ok? Entonces, ya todos hemos entregado to cada una de las actividades. Este día es el último día de clases. Le corresponde quedarse a Yanira del Carmen Gutiérrez. Si tiene alguna pregunta, si no, también le puede ceder el espacio a Paula de Alberto. Right? O a, si alguien tiene alguna pregunta también sobre las clases, tenemos aún dos minutos. Algo que no les haya quedado claro, vocabulario, pronunciación, etcétera. Es su momento. No, de, mi, de mi parte, solo darle las gracias, teacher, y seguir practicando, la verdad. Yo sé que el módulo, pues, yo creo que es un reto cada módulo que nosotros pasamos, ¿verdad? Es parte de nosotros de responsabilidad de ir viendo de cómo vamos apoyándonos también con viendo videos, escuchando música, etcétera, y poniendo, pues, la, el tiempo, ¿verdad? Y, y ahí el, y el espacio, pero gracias, de verdad, por el apoyo. Ya sabe, Anira. Y sí cuesta, no se preocupe, que inglés cuesta. Hay gente que dice que no cuesta, pero todo idioma nuevo le va a costar. Ahí solo Eduardo que va a ir a Estados Unidos va a ir a practicar de un solo y al otro mes. Sí, que nos lleve. <ríe> que nos lleve en la maleta. <ríe> que, fuera, que fuera como la gripe que ahora le pegara a uno. Que la... <ríe> usted practique, usted dígale, I would like a hamburger. Period. <ríe> no, me, no me entiende. <ríe> ¿Cómo no? ¿Va a creer que no le van a entender? <ríe> Ya va a ver que sí. <ríe> ok, guys. So, ¿Alguien más con alguna preguntita? Si no, creo que ya hemos terminado nuestra clase. Ya nos quedan un par de segundos. It's been a pleasure. Please practice. Escuchen eh, canciones en inglés. Vean series en inglés, no solo en español. Si es la serie de Vicente Fernández, también véanla en inglés, por favor. Ahí póngale los subtítulos para que vaya aprendiendo. Ok, no hay excusa. Descarguen otras aplicaciones por ahí para que vayan practicando todos los días. Ok, chicos, it's been a pleasure. Have a beautiful night and see you when I see you. Los veo. Good night. Bye. Good night. Thank, Thank you. you. Thank, Thank you, you guys. Thank you so much. Thank you, Thank you so much. Bye-bye. Good, Good, Good night. Good night. It's been a pleasure. Good night. It's been a pleasure. Good night. <laughs> Bye, Bernardo. Bye, Emerson. It's a pleasure. It's a pleasure too. Ok, Yanira, ¿tenemos preguntitas acerca de la clase? ¿Hoy es cuándo? ¿No?